the disturbing crimes of the Lonely Hearts killers. Love can be a beautiful thing, but for Raymond Fernandez and Martha Beck, it took a sinister turn. This is a tale of romance gone wrong, with a trail of deception, betrayal, and murder. Get ready to be captivated by the twisted narrative of the Lonely Hearts killers. Hey there! Welcome back to our channel, where we peel back the layers of chilling mysteries. Today, we're delving into the disturbing world of the Lonely Hearts killers. So, grab your detective hat, because this one is bound to send shivers down your spine. What drove this infamous duo to commit such heinous crimes? Let's find out. Raymond Martinez Fernandez, born on December 17, 1914, and Martha Jewel Beck, born on May 6, 1920, gained infamy as an American serial killer couple. The duo was convicted of one murder but was implicated in two additional cases. Authorities suspected that they might have been responsible for as many as 20 victims during a killing spree that unfolded between 1947 and 1949. Following their arrest and subsequent trial for serial murder in 1949, Fernandez and Beck earned the notorious moniker of the Lonely Hearts Killers. Their modus operandi involved luring unsuspecting victims through personal ads posted in newspaper Lonely Hearts columns. This chilling criminal partnership has inspired numerous films and television shows, cementing its place in the annals of true crime history. The couple's lives came to a close on March 8, 1951. Raymond Fernandez, Early Life and Troubled Beginnings The story of Raymond Martinez Fernandez unfolds with his birth in the territory of Hawaii on December 17, 1914, to Spanish parents. Soon after, the family relocated to Bridgeport, Connecticut. During his teenage years, Fernandez worked on his uncle's farm in Spain, where he married a local woman named Encarnacion Robles and became a father to four children. Unfortunately, he would abandon his family later in life. After serving in the Spanish Merchant Navy and working with British intelligence services during World War II, Fernandez sought employment. However, his journey took a tragic turn when a steel hedge fell on him while on a ship to the US, resulting in a fractured skull and damage to his frontal lobe. This injury likely had lasting effects on his social and sexual behavior. Upon his release from the hospital, Fernandez's life took a darker turn. He resorted to stealing clothing and ended up in prison for a year. It was during this time that his cellmate introduced him to voodoo and black magic beliefs. Fernandez later claimed that these practices granted him irresistible power and charm over women. This early chapter in Fernandez's life laid the foundation for the disturbing events that would follow. Martha Beck's Complex Life, From Birth to Lonely Hearts Martha Beck, born Martha Jewel Seabrook on May 6, 1920, in Milton, Florida, faced challenges from an early age. Dealing with weight issues attributed to a glandular problem, she underwent puberty prematurely. At her trial, Beck shared a troubling history, alleging rape by her brother and physical abuse by her mother, who blamed her for the incident. During her teen years, Beck sought escape, running away to join a traveling circus, where she briefly crossed paths with writer Truman Capote. After studying nursing, her weight hindered job opportunities, leading her to work as an undertaker's assistant and later in a U.S. Army hospital in California. A single mother due to an unwed pregnancy, she returned to Florida, claiming her child's father died in the Pacific campaign. Beck's life took another turn with a brief marriage and divorce, resulting in the birth of her son. Facing unemployment and raising two children alone, Beck delved into a fantasy world of romance magazines and novels. In 1946, she found work at the Pensacola Hospital for Children. It was during this time that she placed a Lonely Hearts ad, drawing the attention of Raymond Fernandez in 1947 and setting the stage for the dark events that would unfold. The Deadly Partnership of Fernandez and Beck in a twisted tale of love and violence, Raymond Fernandez and Martha Beck embarked on a murderous spree in 1949 that ultimately led to their conviction. The gruesome series of events unfolded as Beck abruptly left her life in Florida to join Fernandez in New York after he visited her. She portrayed herself as Fernandez's devoted sister, adding an air of respectability to their actions. Operating under the guise of a brother-sister duo, the couple targeted victims by posing as a seemingly harmless family. Beck's intense jealousy fueled her actions, leading her to violently intervene whenever Fernandez engaged in intimate relationships. In a disturbing turn, Beck sent her own children to the Salvation Army, prioritizing her commitment to Fernandez. Their killing spree began with the murder of Janet Fay, who had become engaged to Fernandez. 
Beck's violent outburst, triggered by discovering Faye in bed with Fernandez, resulted in a brutal hammer attack and subsequent strangulation by Fernandez. Fleeing from suspicions, the couple traveled to Michigan, where they stayed with Delphine Downing, a widow with a young daughter. In a horrifying incident, Beck's rage escalated when Downing's child began crying. In an attempt to silence her, Beck strangled the child, and Fernandez, fearing suspicion, shot the unconscious Downing. The bodies were concealed in the basement, but the Downing's mysterious disappearance raised alarms among neighbors, leading to the couple's arrest on March 1, 1949. The shocking and brutal nature of the crimes committed by Fernandez and Beck highlighted the depths of their depravity. The couple's disturbing actions exposed a dark and sinister side to their seemingly ordinary lives, leaving a trail of tragedy and sorrow in their wake. The Trial and Execution of Fernandez and Beck After confessing, Raymond Fernandez and Martha Beck denied the 17 murders attributed to them, with Fernandez trying to retract his admission, claiming it was to protect Beck. Extradited to New York, where the death penalty was in effect, they faced trial for the murder of Janet Fay. Found guilty, both were sentenced to death and executed at Sing Sing Prison on March 8, 1951. The tale of the Lonely Hearts Killer serves as a chilling reminder that sometimes the search for love can lead to the darkest corners of the human psyche. As we unravel the disturbing crimes committed by Raymond Fernandez and Martha Beck, we're left pondering the depths of human depravity and the thin line between love and obsession. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more bone-chilling content, and let us know in the comments what other crime stories you'd like us to uncover. Until next time, stay vigilant and stay curious.